Today I have for you this weather station and alarm clock. Also has your calendar on there, your moon phase, uh, your weather forecast. It shows up the weather forecast depending on the temperature and the humidity. So this works pretty well. You get your sensors on the back. This little plastic tab that you actually have to pull to uh, alert the battery or to make the battery work. You just pull that little plastic piece out and it'll work. It's an AG10 or an LR1130 battery. battery. It does work well. It does come with instructions and the, constru the instructions are accurate and they are helpful. So um, just follow the instructions. It'll be just fine with this little unit. But it will also show in the video how this works. So it does set up on its own. It does come in this little box. It works well. To adjust it, all you got to do is go to the different mode. So there I'm on time mode. Hold down set. And then you can press adjust to adjust for your different times. Um, 24 hour, uh, 12 hour. Click on mode again. Hold that down. And then set. And then you can go down and click your hours. My hours is right, so I'm going to go back to that 827 in the morning. Set, and then you go down to the next one. Set again, and then just press mode to get out of it. So now I want to adjust my uh, calendar. Hold down set. You can change the year. Same thing, you're going to go down the line here and adjust all your different settings. You'll keep pressing adjust and set in order to change the month, the date, and the day. So pretty much just hold down the set button and then press adjust to actually adjust your um, your things. It's definitely not 2050, so I'm just going to get this back around to 2016. Press set, and again, keep going down month, adjust, set, date, adjust, set, day, adjust, set. Click mode to get out of that. Now for the alarm, go to your alarm setting, hold down set, and then go down and make the alarm go whatever time you need it to be. I'll set this for 8.29. And then once you actually do that, you do have to press adjust once you're actually on the screen. And you notice these little things changing. So we got, that's for every hour, that alarm for every hour, and that's to set the alarm for whatever time you set. So I set mine for 8.29, just press the adjust button, and then go back to mode. And then once it goes back to 8.29, it should, it should ring. It's not too loud. It's loud enough to get your attention, but not obnoxiously loud. I'll wait for this to actually start beeping so you can see that it does work fairly well. Give you a tour of the unit while I'm waiting for this. There we go. Not too bad. Let's come from this back here. And other than that, it's pretty simple. Just press any button to turn it off. If you, press, if you press snooze, it'll actually start beeping again five minutes later. Press that to turn. Oops. Go back to alarm. There we go. Turn that off. And you're all set. So I do like this. It doesn't take up much space. It's very small. It's nice to have around in the office. It helps me keep track of time, the date. I like knowing the temperature. The humidity works well. Other than that, not much else to say about this unit. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and I'll see you next time.